signed the state budget with line item vetoes. Tonight we have team coverage on what he changed. Lance Visser joins us in the studio with how Republican lawmakers are responding. But first, let's check in with JT Saskowski at the state capitol. And JT, tell us about the tax cuts in this budget and what the governor did with them. Yes, Brandon. Well, Republicans originally proposed a $3.5 billion tax cut. About half of that would have gone to those earning $200,000 a year or more. Now, Governor Tony Evers wanted tax cuts to focus on those making uh, much less than that, lower income tax brackets. His veto reduced the tax cut to a total of $175 million. The veto preserved the tax cut for the two lowest income brackets. It eliminated the rest. But using my broad veto authority, I'm doing what I can to ensure that tax relief goes to working families who need help affording rising costs, not the wealthiest taxpayers in Wisconsin. Now the tax cut will apply to those making $25,520 or less. The governor says he has cut individual income taxes by $1.5 billion since taking office in 2019. And the budget included over 50 vetoes in a variety of policy areas, including education and child care. Live in Madison, JT Siskowski, 27 News.